again it's uh <clears throat> was cooking and doing so many different things i had to go with a 70 liter pack um it's just bigger and uh i have a sleeping bag stuffed in there too um still got my gut bag the important thing today 80 some degrees 84 85 86 is hydration and how you know if you're hydrated is to check the color of your urine the lighter it is, the better you are. The more yellow, uh, you need to hydrate. You need to drink more water. So uh, today, um, we're going to go over a couple of things. Um, mainly probably look more at this pack. We're going to get a fire started. Um, seep some wood sorrel after we collect it. And um, we're going to go from there after that. So welcome back to the campsite. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be much longer I'm gonna be out here today. I might have to just stow my gear to get a thunderstorm coming in. I thought it was just the last thing down the street from construction, but it's uh, too regular. So uh, um, got a late start today. Had to mow the lawn and stuff. So here's where we picked up last week. We have some charred material, and I left this the way it was, other than dumping out some water. Um, so in this can we didn't have a hole right and we have charred material to start a fire this hand can we did have a hole and now we caught bugs so we could eat them if we wanted to um, so no difference with charred material whether you put a hole in it or not um, so we proved that The other thing we did a couple weeks ago is we turned this canteen cup upside down in a fire with this cloth. Now this cloth didn't burn because this was stuffed in here, but it didn't char the material like I wanted it to either. Um, actually, it charred a bunch of material. Um, we had cloth in there too. Um, charred some of this. So, it's starting to rain. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff away. Um, put the water into my canteen. Since it is boiled, it's ready to go. And then I'm going in. God bless you. See you later. This whole, whole can, with the exception of a little bit of water, filled this canteen. So, I've got water to save. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this over it. And this one I didn't even use. I didn't even get a chance, so I'm gonna put that lid on there. Um, I'm sure you hear it rumbling. So we're gonna cut it short for today. I may come out later and do some indoor things. Um, but the main thing today, I, I wanna get through to you. Um, since it is summertime, we just had flag day. Um, June, the month of June is really special to me because it's PTSD Awareness Month. Um, I wear a PTSD shirt just about every day to work um, because at work they celebrate a different month. Um, I celebrate PTSD Awareness Month um, and I'm not going to go into what they celebrate. It has to do with the rainbow flag, I'll tell you that much. Um, There, seed pods. So this is uh, wood sorrel, um, commonly used for sore throats and other things like that. But it's got a high vitamin C um, content, and 
you know this is on my way to my campsite so I'm gonna go ahead and forge about five or six of these we're gonna see steep them and um, cool them down mix it with honey and make a nice cold drink um, but I'll catch you when I get back to the campsite Hello, family. Uh, to be honest with you I didn't make it back out yesterday um, I did uh, collect some wood sorrel on the way here and uh, we're just gonna pick up from, from yesterday uh, I don't know I lay down on the couch went to sleep but uh, we're gonna get a fire going here and like I showed you I collected some wood sorrel um, this pot already has water so we're gonna um, boil that water um, filter it out stuff in it. so we're gonna boil that out um, and we're going to make that wood sorrel. We're going to work on the shelter that's behind us. Um, now, typically I worked roughly four hours on this in the first place. Um, putting this shelter up, getting fire, getting it cleared. Um, so we're just going to add that time. We're going to call it a, a full day there um, at the site because if the shift happens, I mean, that's what it's going to be. You're going to be putting up shelters getting the fire ready, um, setting up traps, we're going fishing, uh, trying to collect water. Now, it's pretty hot out there. Um, I'm under tree cover, so it's a little warmer for me, which uh, I appreciate. So, without further ado, let's get this fire going. Uh, do some wood sorrel. I got some stuff in my pack, some projects that I started, um, that I brought out here. So, you know, all I have now with me is all of my packs. The Army um, is my um, everyday carry. My um, Navy one is a 10C pack. My Air Force one is a 10C pack for hiking. So it's got a little extras. None of my 10Cs have first aid kits anymore. Um, I'm trying to get it smaller. So I've got a little little black survival pack, 10 C's, goes in my motorcycle. I mean, and then I got the 70 liter here that's got all my um, extra things in it. You know, my niceties as I call them. They're not necessities like 10 C's. So this is what gear you're probably gonna see me with from now on. Um, I'd like to, to get everything in a smaller pack that of my comfort items as, as uh, corporate calls it but I just I, I think when it comes down to it it's going to be you know a 10 c for me and I'm out but you know as I'm as I'm camping um, out in the wilderness you know the eastern woodlands uh, I want to do this um, and I want to have some comforts so I want to prepare you know this kit for other other you know redoing fires any situation for the fire you know hot if it's wet or hot or cold or whatever um, so without further ado let's get this what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this uh, fire pit down a little bit um, just because I want more depth I want to have a little bit of a larger fire, but I don't want to go wrong with it, or fear of me being seen. So, I'm going to go down with it, and it's probably going to be the start of my Dakota fire kit. But, we'll get to that later. Honestly, I wouldn't be at this location for more than a couple of 
days just because I want to keep moving. So this is trash. Um, see those those bags only are good for one time use. Now I did use Walmart bags, so Ziplocs may be a little better. going well. Um, the rash is in here. Um, just sitting by the fire, it's, it is hot. So, um, let me go ahead and put it on this. Now, I did find a bigger rock. Um, stands about this high. So, in order to have a block from there, I may rearrange these rocks after this is done, but 
This thing's gonna boil pretty quick. Um, I think I'm gonna throw, try to throw the honey in there. I'm gonna have to dig it out with like the edge of my spork or something. Um, yeah, there's a couple things. I mean, this is a backpackers. Um, obviously, you could strap, like I had um, my cart, blanket, and bedroll down, strapped on the bottom. Okay, I got my fishing kit in here, mm -hmm. slingshot, all my books and maps and stuff. This isn't big enough for anything. Um, so, I have these empty right now. I had those jars of spices, but I found out that they can mold in there and I don't want to get caught moldy. I do have a big candle in here. Reason being is I can take my poncho, pull it up over me, have that candle lit, and it's enough to warm me up in a winter. Um, here's my small axe that I have in there. But I mean, this is all fire stuff and all personal stuff. I've got this and the top to it, and I just threw all this extra stuff in there. But really, there's not much in it, so I can live without it. It's comfort items that I can live without. Um, so this has to boil, and I'm gonna throw the leaves in along with some honey, and let that steep um, for 10 minutes. And then I have to pour that water in my other container, which is double walled with ice in it, and I'll have a nice cold sweet bed beverage. It's supposed to taste like lemonade, um, but uh, there is a caution with it. If you drink too much of it, it will stop your body from doing something with calcium. So calcium obviously uh, keeps your bone, bones um, strong is one of the main things. So you don't want that. But I mean, look, at, look up this wood sorrel. It's S-O-R-R-E-L. There are so many medicinal purposes that Indians used. It's so awesome. I mean, this is their land. We brought a lot of these weeds with us because I guess early on they found out these weeds were really good for teas and, and curing this and that. And the Indians, they use it for so much more. But, uh, I mean, you got to respect them. Living off the land ever since they were born. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get this tarp going. I take um, that off there, but I'm taping up my. It's funny that the the things that you buy from um, Harbor Freight may have some defects. This is the second tarp I got because that one had a double eyelet. This one, the eyelet's off. Some not, not that I care, but I'm gonna put this up like this out and have a nice area for storm um, just in case it does storm um, I've got another tarp I could always throw it over the front if I have to but that's where I am right now um, actually we can take that off to see how fun it I'm gonna how much fun I'm gonna have trying to get that uh, honey out of it still in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and let that see
Yeah, I should only have one knife and a folding knife, but I have a few knives because um, I'm a nerd. And I gotta do things the hard way. So that's thick, raw honey. sweetening things, but they said you should. Ooh, that is hot now. Um, but with just that LB, it's got the 10 C's, it's got all survival that I need. So, I, uh, been really, really, um, let's just say OCD um, about my bags. And I just find that enough is enough, you know. And I watched one of uh, Dave Canterbury's um, videos, and you know, he convinced me to, to count my first aid kit, which I wouldn't need. Um, kept the tourniquet, of course, but um, I started looking at my bag, and my, my Air Force bag had double items within that LBE. Now, the Air Force bag, yeah, I like to carry more water. Um, so, you know, that's a plus. But I've got all kinds of other things in there. So I'm gonna use it for um, just some camping, or not camping, some uh, hiking. Carry, carry water, it's got a first aid kit. And it's got the 10 seeds in case I need to survive. So, yeah. So I'm gonna let this seat. I'm gonna um, go ahead and poke a hole in there. Now there's one knife that I will show you that I didn't have in here I had in another kit um, I'm big on color coding so it was in my blue kit and my navy kit but this is one of the few folding knives I have that has multiple attachments but not so much um, I'm not concerned so much about that blade but it's got a saw on it so that's what you really want to have a folding knife with a saw on it and it's the only one I have with a saw on it so um, I carried it with me on this um, it's also got a knife blade in that I can poke a hole in this probably be better with my knife I can cut some cord for this. We're using black. Actually, this is the one the dark cord. Um, the white on it will actually go in the dark. So, again, bowl and knot. Come over here and show you one more time. Um, so you got your lead in. You got your lead in. Tie loop. Got your other end. It comes. I'm gonna get it a little lower. It comes. Out of the hole, around the tree. Back in the hole. And you tied it tight and you got a bowl in. It's very easy, easy, easy not. I'm going to tie this too, so I'm just going to poke it through.
So I'm just gonna cut this off, tie it down. Um, it's so weird not having my my other pack because it's got all my lighters and everything's on the outside. And, um, it's on the outside of this one. So right down to here. Like last week. I'll burn this off. drop off some tent stakes last week. I've had these things forever. Um, they're gonna stay with my packs. It's just they go into the ground easy. They don't come out easy. Um, Up, I have a place to throw my gear. It's not very big, and I could probably pull out these. Maybe push that back a little bit, make it a little better. Um, but like I say, like everybody says, you got to shut up the shelter first. I think this is done seeping. Let me see how it tastes. I have not yet got diarrhea or anything from anything I've consumed. Water here. Very cold. Um, very, very cold. Probably gonna be under this one. Um, 
That wood sorrel, you sh you are also able to eat it raw. Um, I'm cooking everything because I'm new, I'm learning this, and some things you should cook twice, but we'll get to those later. Um, yeah, I'm cooking everything. See, this is like, it's going to keep this thing hot now. So I'm going to have to pour this out so it'll cool. That's funny. It's, this thing is really, really hot. so many variables that they don't show you on some of these different uh, this thing is not going to fight. I, I'm not keeping this thing. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, anyway. So, that's wood sorrel tea. Um, got the rest of our camp set up. Um, let me go get this other rock and move some of this stuff out of the way. So we're thinking of our next fire, but some things I didn't show you. Um, I did show you the fire. God, I hate this thing. Um, I hate this thing. One thing I wanted to show you is this little box here. It's uh, had uh, NBC nuclear biological um, cleaning wipes. But this is the fat wood that I've found and I keep it in there. So I always, I'm always gonna have a nice um, sticky way to start a fire. And it is sticky. So this is waterproof. I don't mean to hide it. It's just right here. Um, but, anywho, so we got our second shelter set up. We're going to expand it a little bit. Like we can. That's why we got it there. Um, I do like it expanding out a little bit. So I'm going to pause. 